First of all, greetings from Switzerland, and thank you for attending the webinar. Volume forming is not only science, but a combination of art and science, and it involves a lot of research and development. What are the key ingredients associated with creating a repeatable balloon forming process? Because in the end, we want to have a good quality balloon. Key ingredients. We need a good extrusion. We need a repeatable necking. We need a good quality mold, as well as a developed balloon form recipe on a stable equipment. Let's look at some of the ingredients in more detail. Preliminary process, extrusion, that's the raw material and we need a good raw material to work with. If extrusion is not good, then the whole process can't help to make a good quality balloon. So extrusion is key. We always say, Extrusion makes up to 70 or 80% of the whole process. It's a key ingredient. So we need a good supplier, a supplier that can deliver on a consistent basis, consistent quality, and a supplier that allows to work with that we can make quick adjustments to the extrusion during the development phase. Because we know a change of supplier is difficult. Again, consistency. Quality, good and long-term supply with consistent material characteristics and quality is a key to produce high quality balloons. The next thing that we are looking in a good extrusion is elongation. The elongation of the extrusion is key for forming a good balloon. For a semi-compliant PTCA balloon, for example, it should be at least 300%. The elongation can and should be tested for each batch in cold conditions. And let's go to the next process step, the necking process. The necking process is a preliminary step in the balloon forming process, and it describes the forming of a parison by necking down the sleeves to a defined diameter. What is a parison slash slot? A parison is the part of the raw tubing that is not necked down and out of which the balloon is formed. So we see that on the slide, we have the extrusion, the raw tubing, then the parison, and out of the parison, we form the balloon. Why do we need a parison? Often a parison is needed to fit the necked part of the tube into the balloon mold since the tube diameter is bigger than the sleeve diameter of the mold. With a parison, we define where the balloon will be formed and how much material is needed for the forming process. So with a parison, we have control over the process and a parison increases the stability and repeatability of the process, which has an effect of the quality of the balloon. Another important advantage, a parison helps to pull the material through the cones and is critical to achieve the desired wall thickness in the balloon as well as in the cones. The necking process makes the sleeves more rigid, which ensures that when the stretch is done in the forming process, the pulling happens only in the balloon and not on the whole tube. We have, again, therefore, more control. BW Tech recommends using a parison for the forming process for a balloon bigger than 2.5 millimeters. The bigger and longer the balloon becomes, the more important a parison is. A defined neck and consistency of the parison length are the two most important things to look for in a parison. Another thing that we can do is to inspect the parison before we bring it into the balloon uh, forming machine. So inspecting the neck before forming a balloon, can it be beneficial? We can look for stars, air pockets. For the R&D, 
base, a good starting point is that the person length should contain about 70% of the balloon length. That's a starting point. And from there, we can define what the person length needs to be. Machine selections. What are the differences between the necking machine that BW Tech offers and what are the pros and cons? Our brand new machine that we see in the slide, the 2920 split die necking machine has a servo motor included. We made a new design of the clamp for more centricity and we have a digital readout of the person so the slug length is a process parameter in the HMI. With that, we have more process control and it's easier for validation. This machine can do 0 0.7 and up to 10 millimeter in tube diameter. So basically the whole range that we need for all kinds of different balloons. The next machine that I want to uh, present is our 5 up necker, the 2105. This machine has the core process or the core technology as a hot air system. This one is especially made for high volume for PTCA dimensions. So from diameter 0 0.4 to 3.5 millimeters. forming process. Let's go to the forming process. We need to offset the person in the mold. The person must be really centered in the mold before the forming process. Different materials need different temperatures and time for the material to be soft and ready for the pooling process. This is probably the most important step in the forming process, giving the material enough time and not try to make a shortcut in that process step. The material needs to be ready to jump, to form a balloon. It needs to be ready for the stretch. The recipe uh, steps that are laid out in the BW Tech machines are first, we increase the temperature, the time, we leave, we give the machine the time, we give the temperature the time, the material the time to soften. Then we stretch, we pull on the tube, and then again, we increase the pressure for the next forming step. One thing that is key in the forming process, the forming of the balloon should be done at the same time as the stretching is happening. Even if we have on the distal and the proximal side, we have a different pulling speed or pulling distance. The timing should be at the same time. We have here in the slide a diam diagram of the forming of a forming process of a BW Tech equipment. So the first we see pressure. The next in the chart is the temperature and the third is the position. So we increase the pressure, then we increase the temperature and give the material time for the forming. And then we make the stretch. As we can see in the, the blue frame, everything should be at the same time. So we see a pressure drop, which indicates that we have a balloon and on the positioning, we see it's done at the same time as we have done the stretch. On the BW Tech equipment, we have the option for flow feedback and force feedback. The flow feedback or the flow measurement shows how much airflow is in the tube. This is an additional indicator of the forming of the balloon. This is especially important and helpful and useful in the R&D phase, but also on the production floor. The same is true for the force measurement or force feedback. It records the force on the extrusion during the process and provides important feedback for optimal process development. 
as we can see here in the blue frame again, we have the feedback in the chart that we have the, the pressure drop, the pulling, the force and the flow at the same time, which is a good indicator that we have a forming of the balloon. Again, machine selection when it comes to the balloon forming machine. The BWTEC equipment allows the stabilization of the balloon as a recipe parameter to, pre to prevent shrinkage of the balloon. Different balloons machines for different requirements. We have different allocations, we have different forming pressure, we have uh, the ability of pump during the forming process, and of course the design of the balloon has an influence of the machine selection. This machine or standard machine, the 5055 one to four up primary secondary concept allows you to make the whole range of balloons from 1.5 to 40 millimeters in diameter and 10 to 350 millimeters in balloon length. The vertical concept convinces that we save floor space, that, that we can start with a primary machine and we can gradually add secondary machines. So up to three secondary machines can, can be added to one primary machine. And one operator can operate four machines at the same time. The other machine that I wanna highlight is our brand new balloon forming machine for soft balloons, for PU materials with the high compliant balloons, soft balloons. The concept convinces with a split mold, which allows almost unlimited possibilities of shapes and designs when it comes to the, to the mold. And the machine impresses with short process time, pulsation ability in the forming time. Mold selection. The mold has, of course, and for obvious reasons, a huge influence when it comes to the uh, forming of a good quality balloon. BWTAC produces a variety of high quality balloons mold for a wide range of applications for the medical field. Our machine shop is equipped with modern equipment to meet the highest customer demands in terms of quality design and manufacturing tolerances. So what are some known types of challenges when it comes to the art of balloon forming? Again, we come back to the extrusion. Even minor climatical changes such as temperature, humidity, thermal radiation, and altitude can have an influence on extrusion and thus on the molding process. The shelf life is important, a fresh extrusion and a couple of days old, one might show different specs, which has an influence on the forming process. Even different patch can have an influence on the forming process. Another thing that we see often that we don't take enough time to find a balanced recipe. So a balanced process per Parameters are key for consistency and high yield. Taking the time during the R&D phase to develop a recipe that is designed in such a way that minor differences in the extrusion, different batch and so on, still allows a good quality balloon. Heating blocks. The correct size of a heating block that fits the mold, not to lose uh, too much process time for the heating and the cooling process. So here it's worthwhile to invest in maybe one more heating block. On the other hand, we save time on the process floor. BWTEC recommends refurbishing the heating blocks every two to three years so that the heating and the cooling functions do not decrease. That's another thing that is often forgotten when it comes to the uh, challenges in the forming process. So 
again, thank you so much for attending the webinar. And uh, if you have any questions, please, fe please feel free to ask. We will be delighted to answer them. Thank you.